Phenomenology falls under the category of social action theory. In philosophy, the term phenom is used to describe the things that appear to our senses. For example, we never truly know what the world beyond our mind is like. Therefore, we can only rely on our senses. How do things taste, smell, feel, etc.? This was the starting point of phenomenology. Phenomenology initially was introduced as a philosophical theory, but it was not until later it became quite relevant in the social action field of sociology. There are two key thinkers which can be credited with phenomenological thought, Edmund Husserl and Alfred Schertz. Husserl claimed that our world only makes sense because we create the meanings and order through mental category labelling. An example of this is a table. We know that a table is a table because our senses have identified it as a four-legged piece of furniture to have meals on or study on. According to this, the world is only a product of our mind. Schertz applied this idea to the social world. He argued that these categories of a table or a chair are not unique to us, but rather we share them with other members of society. These shared categories are called typification. It allows us to speak the same language and agree on the meaning of things. For example, we all have categorised a red light to mean stop or danger. This knowledge allows us to drive safely. Schertz calls this recipe knowledge. Like a recipe, we can follow social acts without thinking too much, but still get the desired result every day. So, there you have it. Phenomenology in under five minutes. An issue with phenomenology is that not everyone will have the same shared ideas based on senses. For example, some individuals may view a red light in the opposite way. Can you think of any other situations where meanings may be different? Thanks for watching.